Thank you. Hello. Um, so I guess I, I want to tell you that I think that my mother's losing it now because she leaves these phone messages for me and every week they get progressively more and more bizarre. And as the years go by, I now I think she's the last one she left was boop. Hi, it's mommy. Hi, it's mommy. 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 It's hi, it's mommy. It's mommy. Hi, it's mommy. It's don't marry a white man. She would have been mad at me the other night I went on a date with a white guy, which is fine now. I, I, I aspire to being an equal opportunity destroyer. And we went out, we went to a bar, and it was so weird, I swear to God, sitting at the bar, there was a Korean girl, a white guy, a Korean girl, a white guy, a Korean girl, a white guy, me, and a white guy. It was like a weird Asian woman duck duck goose. <laughs> All right, this is how immature I am. I'm almost 30 years old and I was drunk at a party, and I was gonna kick some girl's ass at a party. I'm almost 30, I'm at a party being thrown by my accountant, and I'm about to kick some girl's ass. She's the fight started off really civil at first. At first, you know, we're just, you know, holding our glasses of Chardonnay, and it's just back-headed compliments. Like she says to me, you are so lucky that he rejected you because he is a bad person. He says the worst things about you. To which I replied, you know what, that's fine. I'm fine. You look good. What is different about you? Did you get surgery to fix your eye? And then, then it just escalated, you know, until I'm just up in her face like, yeah, bitch, what's up now? Oh, for real. Yeah, why don't you, no, see, I am not mad. If I was mad, if I, I am not mad. If I was mad, you would be dead, okay? <laughs> See, I'm gonna kick your ass today because I don't get no blood on my shoes, okay? I gotta return this tomorrow. So, uh, -uh see. <laughs> you better step off. Um, that's why I can't drink. I can't, I'm like, I can't behave. I'm like really bad. I'm just, I don't know. Can't, I don't have a boyfriend. It's tragic. Very hard for me to get that together. I want to get married. I, I think I, I would love a husband, but I, I look at husbands the same way I look at tattoos, like I want one, but I can't decide on what, and I don't want to be stuck with something that I'm going to grow to hate and have to have surgically removed later. <laughs> I mean, the idea of getting married is like such a terrible thing because, I mean, I would love to be in a marriage, but to have a wedding, all your friends and family stuffed into grand ballroom at the Holiday Inn, so terrifying. If all my friends and family were in one place, I'd be freaking out. I'd be trying to remember all the lies I told to everybody about everybody else. <laughs> trying to keep the story straight. Maybe I will just stick to like working. I don't know. I'm married to my job. I just finished this movie. Um, it's out now. It's called Face Off, and it's a big action film. Oh no! It was like it was really fun to do. But um, the director was John Wu, and he's a big Hong Kong action guy. He's the gunplay master. And he gave me the job, even though I look so stupid with a gun, you can't even believe it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare. And John Wood coached me. He's like, okay, when you hold a gun, don't smile. <laughs> Try not to smile, because you are a killer. <laughs> you are not a bank teller. Okay, I'm not gonna smile. Okay, wait, 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 no, wait. <laughs> That's good, I was scared, I was, oh, I was scared. Oh, I was scared. Margaret Cho. Thank you so much, Margaret.